Hi, this is Cheryl Araxis 3 Productions, and uh, I would like to show you one of my hobbies. I build robots, and uh, what I have is a circuit called a uh, solar roller. It is a uh, solar robot, and the circuitry comes from Beam Robotics. Uh, it's a very simple robot. Uh, however, I do design my own robots, uh, which are a little bit more complicated. But this is one of my simpler ones, and I would like to, to show it to you. This is my solar roller robot. And you can see the um, solar cell here. That's the solar cell, uh, which is powered by the sun. This is a bottle cap, which I use for the front roller, and some rubber tires for the back. This is called, I think this is called a pancake motor. Here you can see the capacitor which stores the energy. As the energy builds up to a certain voltage, a transistor, a component device underneath, underneath, detects when the voltage has built up to a certain amount. Then it releases the power to the motor turns the motor on. That's a simple explanation. But uh, let's see if I can get this solar roller to uh, run a little bit. It uh, goes very slowly and I think what I'm going to have to do, it probably needs more work. I haven't done work on it in a while. Uh, I need a uh, larger solar cell and uh, also I may try some other things. But let's see what happens. Here you can see my solar roller inching along on my car, which is the smoothest sur surface I could find. You can see the tires rolling. It's going backwards at the moment, but what I would have to do is reverse the polarity of the lead somewhere. There's the solar cell, the sun hitting it. Front wheel moving. It's moving slowly and it'll eventually fall off the car if I let it keep on rolling. 